Mario. Like, he would play Mario even if he wasn't good. Oh, yeah. Like, he's played Mario in every Smash game that he's tried. Uh, Dan, Dan's wonderful. Dan's a great guy, though. <laughs> yeah. Not 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 saying anything bad against Dan. I love oh, Dan. Oh, no. Dan, Dan's great. And, but, yeah, he is, like, he's all about that Mario. Mm -hmm. So getting controls set up right now. Everyone entering in their tags. I'm sure there will be a lot of um, removing of names yeah. throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of people coming in for the stream setup. So that's um, while we are waiting for the current match to get set up. Another tournament that's coming up in just two weeks' time, I believe, is Dismantle 2. Oh, yeah. At, uh, at Poplar right. Creek in Hoffman Estates, Illinois. Not too far from here. That's going to be big. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. We have the likes of DK Will. Uh, MVD, Ally, um, who else was just confirmed? Uh, Vinny was just confirmed. Okay. Okay. So like the super, nice. lots and lots of good talents coming to that. And of yeah. course, all of Chicago, a lot of Wisconsin. Um, I mean, Missouri's coming up. Iowa's coming over. Indiana's coming over. Michigan's coming the down. Midwest, we need you know. It's it's those. I love seeing the Midwest tournaments because people yeah. don't talk about us as much. Well, so. that's because okay. So here's the thing: is like Tri-State is so good because they're able to train each other because they live like you go two hours in any direction and that's their whole region. Exactly. You go two hours here, I'm still in the same city. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's true. Like, Midwest is so huge. I yeah. don't even know how anybody is like, oh, Midwest doesn't travel. Yeah, it's because you travel six hours, you're an entirely different coast. It's like, you're, yeah. if you go from, like, New York to, like, Virginia in six hours. I go six hours, I'm staying in Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so big. <laughs> People don't realize how big the Midwest is, like, yeah, in, in terms of land mass. So... Yeah, I love when these when these big tournaments like Dismantle 2 and like Wreck the Halls um, come together because you see so much talent that you don't normally see. Like, no joke, when I walked in there, I said, oh, Nightwing! Because, you know, we don't see each other, but we know exactly, each other because yeah. we're close-knit because that's that's the Midwest hospitality. You, seriously. You're, you're brought up seriously. to be super nice no matter who it is. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like... You might, I remember seeing like a BuzzFeed video or something where it was like, this is things that Midwesterners do and people walking down the street just saying hi to each Dude, other. It's like, that uh, actually happens sometimes. No, that like, happens all of the yeah, time. Yeah. You don't, like, you do that in New York, you're going to get stabbed. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> what What are you talking to me for? Go away. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas in Midwest, it's like, hey, how you doing? Oh, do I know you? No, hey, how you doing? Like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> exactly. Midwest, it's, you know why, though? It's because, we, like, Again, we're so spread out that we just crave human interaction. Yeah. <laughs> There's so much space to move around in that when we finally see somebody else after our long treks of being alone, we're like, oh, my God, another human being. Yeah. You walk out the door, it's like, oh, look at all this grass. <laughs> look or look, look at all the snow. Yeah. Look then. at all the corn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, corn. Corn right. is always interesting. We have a cloud, another cloud hype. We have, uh, looks like, Val Valkyrie. Valkyrie? Valkyria Chronicles, maybe? I don't know. And BW Styles versus the Great Asian and Burnt Toast. Burnt Toast. Not, Bur bo not Boom Toast? No, not Boom toast. toast. Okay. No, a, a far less delicious toast. Uh, yeah, Burnt Toast, not, not so tasty. So we have a Fox and Rosalina um, going at it um, against a Ro another Roy and Cloud. So um, lots of sword users today um, compared to what I'm used to seeing. Yeah. Which is everyone just being angry that there's sword characters in this game. <laughs> Which is funny because it's like 90% non-sword characters. Yeah. But whatever. Well, that, that's, that's, that's a matter for another time. But exactly. uh, Clouded Limit Break here, um, you know, we know that the finishing touch uh, has a, cool, a few cool setups into that like confirmed kill. And unlike Max uh, KO Punch, Limit Break lasts for as long as it needs to until he uses another special move. So. Yeah, and it looked like he tried to pull off the, uh, the cross slash there. Um, which is really quick, but um, wasn't got, able to. Yeah, he got interrupted. And so is or no, Fox actually down a stock right now. I was going to say everyone on Yeah, and, and Fox also in, at high percent also. So. Definitely in a, in a rough spot with this team comp that has a lot of kill power. But Red Team's got a strong juggle game. Yep, Owen oh, Roy just destroying uh, Fox's second stock there. Down smash will take out Rosalina as well. So Roy and Cloud still like, both of the three stocks, which is something. like you can't let yourself get in that position. Both of these guys are relatively easy to gimp off stage. You can't let yourself uh, be in this kind of situation. You have to keep them off stage and, uh, and trying to you know decide how they're going to recover because you know with, with Rosalina all you have to do is just run off and down air like and that's going to set you up yeah. in pretty much anything. Rosalina is going to need to go very hard off stage just like live off stage and make sure that um, she's picking up any of the of, uh, blue team when they blue stage control. Because blue, I mean, that's what blue team's been doing is they've been staying relatively in center stage and uh, using these great uh, juggle options and powerful forward oh smashes <laughs> to, to just launch 
um, red team left and right, like like Dragon Ball Z style. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> everyone flying off in crazy directions. Now, no no disrespect to Rosalina here, but I want to see some kind of cool like into finishing touch setup. Mm -hmm. uh, that's okay. That's okay. Well, um, I mean, we 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 have plenty of time for for Quad to charge the limit break again. Exactly. But uh, Rosalina with a huge mountain to climb to win this one. Yeah, Ro Cloud still hasn't lost a stock. Roy still had two stocks. So, I mean, normally I don't like to say, like, it's, it's not over till it's over. But unless Blue Team, like, just drops their controllers, yeah. um, we're going to be going to game two with uh, with one in the bank for uh, Valker and BW Styles. Yeah. All right. And that's, that's going to be it for Rosalina. So game one. Pretty decisive for Blue Team. Yeah, what uh, what kind of adjustments do you think that uh, that Red Team can do here? Well, I mean, first they need to avoid taking as much damage as they did early on. Um, the, they were getting juggled around um, by Blue Team, and I, I saw Cloud following up a lot on uh, whatever Roy did. Mm -hmm. So if they can avoid that, and again, like we've been saying, get them off stage. That, that's going to be the, the big thing to turn things around in their favor. I mean, and, and both Fox and Rosalina have relatively good tools for that. Like, uh, Fox, so quick, um, can run in and smash. He can run in, you know, do uh, aerials out of shield. Um, Rosalina, as we know, if you're above her, that's a bad place to be. Yeah. Um, I mean, they have a lot of options here. Um, I would like to see them actually, you know, try and be a little bit more aggressive than they've been being. Like, Fox just seems to be kind of hanging back in a lot of situations. Um, not necessarily of his own volition, but, like, when he's trying to recover, too, he's recovering very, very uh, passively. And, well, for starters, Luma is out of there. Um, Cloud just oh, and oh, Roy shoot. just absolutely just decimating Fox again. Fox has been running into like a four, like two or one or two forward smashes per stop from this Roy. So Needs, can't afford to, to keep taking hits like that. Now I just wonder if Burnt Toast is maybe not that familiar with uh, Fox's like combo setups, um, or if he just like is not used to the. Like physics of Cloud since he just recently came out um, this past Tuesday. So yeah, so the the character matchup knowledge can definitely be a factor here. Right, Rosalind gets a full jab going on, which lets uh, Fox get up there, there, which almost took Cloud off the top, but not quite. Oh, and Fox barely recovering there. Um, and he got a second jump um, off stage by that uh, that down or downside B four or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, the dancing, dancing blade. blade. The, the last uh, toe tap of the dance or something. Wow. Cloud is like, he's covering a lot of ground. He's running in and then tossing out smashes. And oh, and then both, uh, both man, this offstage. is this is just a, a manhandling right now by blue team. Yeah. Just, just this is going to be a quick 2 on a handshake. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> this is definitely a, a huge deficit for red team. This. I've seen bigger comebacks. This would be. Uh, this, this would be, be one of them. Yeah, this this would be one of those. It separates Rosaline and Luma with a down smash there, and that's okay. Uh, Burnt Toast almost had a, a chance to take out Roy there, but did not quite space out the back air well enough. Dude, Cloud's dash attack is seriously awesome. Yeah, he just throws the whole sword yeah. forward. He's like, all right, here it is. <laughs> all of this in your face now. Oh, that roll down smash, taking out yeah, blue. Team, what blue team is doing? They they are just reading red team like a book this entire time. Definitely. And now, burnt toast, two v one. It's I, gonna. He's got the quick up smash. So. Oh. He, uh, yeah. Speaking of quick smashes, <laughs> got uh, Roy. Into his, yeah. yeah. So, um, I think that is going to be it for me for right now. Um, I need a little bit of a break, rest my voice, get some water in me. So, thank you so much, Grape Gray, yeah. uh, for sitting in with me. I'm sure we'll get some singles work later. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. So, um, 